Hello, in this tutorial I will be show you how you can load an image. Okay, to load an image uh, actually you need to create a new SDL surface. Although in theory you could uh, load it to directly to the screen but that would mean you have to load it every time the loop runs and yeah that will be a problem because you know the hard drive even today the slowest part of your computer uh, RAM is uh, much quicker so you uh, load it to the RAM only once and every time you just copy from the RAM to this screen which is actually the RAM so you copy RAM to RAM alright so create an image uh, and actually there is one thing I didn't mention is that uh, every SDL surface except the screen what you are using you have to free it you don't use delete as we did in normal you use a function that uh, is for this reason it is called SDL free surface we will use that I hope I didn't forget it but because else we will get a memory leak alright so to load an image for example we can load it right here here you can use the load BMP function so image equals to uh, SDL load BMP so we uh, load a bitmap in native natively the SDL can only load bitmaps uh, of course you can use the SDL image to load any kind of image you want so you can include it here and you put uh, the linker settings and you know things like that uh, I just load a bitmap to keep this uh, tutorial very simple uh, although we have to learn a few uh, new functions for that so okay uh, and then we just give the file name okay I have no BMP pictures at the moment but I will do in a moment so mm, I don't know BMP.BMP alright I'm so creative at getting at uh, new names alright so this will load this bmp.bmp file and if I not forget I will create it uh, by the way the image will be a uh, null if it cannot uh, successfully load the image so you ha you should uh, mm, uh, check it uh, for now I will not check it to keep this code very simple and I am sure that I will not forget to create this bmp.bmp picture alright and then here in the render actually uh, you can see I deleted this lot of crap that was here the key handling and the moving and I comment out this feel rect the thing we don't need that either to uh, write a picture so to show a picture we have to copy a picture to the screen to do that we use a function called SDL bleed surface okay we can use SDL bleed surface more time so anytime you want and just copy it somewhere the first thing is the source where do you want to copy we want to copy from the image actually we want to copy the whole image uh, but later the second and the fourth parameter you can do things like set a part of the image to load and the other thing is uh, to uh, locate where should it be loaded for example what coordinate should the image start so yeah you can do uh, basic uh, uh, animations and uh, you know games with uh, images because you can set where do you want to put it so you can do move all right uh, if the second parameter is null then uh, the entire image will be copy the first parameter is the destination uh, this is the screen because we want to copy it to the screen and the fourth parameter is uh, where do you want to put it in the screen so the xy coordinate which is which is inside an SDL rect actually we put it null in here as well so we use the default 0 0 coordinate okay that's it we bleed the surface to the screen so in theory if uh, 
I don't forget to free the image so as you may remember I said we have to free every SDL surface except the screen we which we are using because it will automatically be freed by the SDL quit function. So SDL free surface and image image okay the uh, we will avoid memory leaks with uh, using uh, uh, free surface all right the f last thing we have to do is to actually create uh, bmp.bmp i will do that in a moment okay i created the bmp.bmp .bmp. i am happy that i could uh, make my creativity to so complex uh, uh, draws so yeah okay now we can compile the program and run it and if you run it you can see this so this is my oh, beautiful draw I'm so good at drawing okay so you might wondering why is the background so weird color this is one for uh, this is one of the next tutorial for the next tutorial the color keying for now just ignore it and yeah we have this the weird character in here okay and as you can see it is that simple to load an image actually you can use the blitz surface more times and put it uh, into specific coordinates uh, think uh, I think we are in time uh, if not just you know I just cut it okay so make a rectangle uh, call it rect for example and uh, make a for loop actually you know what no just two not i don't want to fill the entire screen that was the plan at first but i uh, know just you know just uh, write two uh, character so rect dot x equal to uh don't know 200 and rect dot y equal to 100 so we just put two things the first will be the image as we saw earlier the second will be an image actually we uh, give the address of it so the second will be uh, somewhere in the screen at 200 100 coordinate so if we run it as you can see the first is in here the second is at 100 100 coordinate in here and uh, yeah that's it you can put whatever you want and you don't load the image more time multiple time you just copy uh, from the ram to an uh, image so as you can see we copy the screen uh, both to image obviously we can do it with more images so we load 10 images and put it together into one and then flip it to the screen so we show it actually and that's it uh, this parameter I will show you later how you can use it and why is it useful but not for now so actually that's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial so thank you for watching and have a great day